Uh, call an election, sure, by keeping God's commandments. So you keep them perfectly? Hmm? You keep do them? You? Do you? No one does. That's why we need Jesus. So how can you make your calling like sir if you don't keep it perfectly? By keeping the beard. You covet, don't By you? By keeping the beard. How can you tell if I'm an Israelite? Huh? How can you tell if I'm an Israelite or not? When you start keeping God's laws. So if you keep God's laws, you're an Israelite? Hmm? So you could be a Gentile, keep God's laws, I'm gonna tell you like, make your uh, calling an election, sure, by keeping God's commandments. So do you keep them perfectly? Hmm? Do you keep do them? You? Do you? No one does. That's why we need Jesus. So how can you make your calling like sir if you don't keep it perfectly? By keeping the beard. You covet, don't By you? By keeping the beard. Ju do you think Judas had a beard? Hmm? Think yes, Judas? I know he had a beard. Right. But it was Judas. Did he make his calling? He's still a thief. Right. So what are we talking about? He didn't keep God's laws. Do you keep God's laws perfect? Do, have I sold them? Do you covet in your heart? What are you talking about? Do you covet in your Every heart? Every man is given to covetous. So you don't keep God's law perfectly. So you need Jesus to save you from your sins. Your beard's not going to save you. I mean, I get to break God's laws now because uh, no, you break them every day. So do, I do. You break them every Such day. Such as if you just look covet. at a woman lustfully. I got a wife. You committed adultery. I got so a wife. you don't lust after women. You mean to tell me that because I look at a woman, now I could go commit sex with her? Nobody said that. So what are you saying? That you need Jesus, not your beard. I understand I need your Jesus. Your beard doesn't save you. I understand I need Jesus. You right. need a beard. You need fringes. You need to keep God's commandments. So how does a beard make one righteous or holy? Because it makes you not effeminate. How, how is that? Because God says. So. Have you? I know. Because I know God gay dudes so. with beards. God said. I know gay dudes with beards. Know, gay don't dudes, don't exactly. you? Exactly. Just like we know uh, Judas had a beard. All right. He still was so a, thief. a beard doesn't save you. I understand that. Show me but one place. But that don't mean you get to break it though. Show me so one that place. So I mean, I get to break it now. No, that's Wait, not. So wear a beard, brother. See, check this out. That shows you don't understand the gospel though, because you think we think we can do anything. We don't teach that. We don't teach what you just said. What What do you teach? We don't teach you can go around what doing do whatever you want. Then why do you, that the gospel you saves you, saved and then. because he saves you, then, then you, you live holy. Then? Why okay. did you shave your beard, sir? Yeah. You can get yeah. a beard if you want yeah, to. Yeah, they can. You choose not to. You choose but to be break God's law. Here's the thing. The thing is, you don't want to. You don't fear God. That's the thing. Because is there, what's the main reason you know that? What do you, because the Bible says so. How, well, how do you know that? Because the Bible says. The so. evidence I don't fear God is what though. In all seriousness, what is the evidence you have? I don't you, fear God. That, you, you, that, if you, if that, that you will sit back and God, the Messiah said in Matthew 5 and 17, whosoever shall do the law and teach men to do so, shall, whoever shall break one of these least laws and shall teach right. men to do so, right. shall be called least in the, uh, why the kingdom. Why do you think? That's why I believe that. Okay, so why it's do you? It's not because I believe. I believe the Bible. I know. That's what every group says. But here's what I'm saying. And even if you don't agree with me, nothing like that. The Christian gospel is not that Jesus saves you and now you can do whatever you want. Why do you guys say that? That's not true. Because I'm at telling you, if you're truly an Israelite, keep God's commandments. You're telling me, no, you ain't got to keep God's commandments. No, I didn't say that. Well, then wear a do beard, those words, brother. Uh, <laughs> keeping, a having a beard, <laughs> having to have a beard is does not get, show your righteousness. And I'll give you a perfect example. No. In Acts chapter 15. The Gentiles there was one of the requirements there to give to say they had to have a beard. It wasn't. So how come you're putting something on somebody? Because that the, they knew they had to have a beard. Oh, so you're saying it was assumed. Then why didn't they tell them that? Why 
Like, then why did they tell him no sexual immorality? They, because they didn't of, know because that. Because in Rome, you did as the Romans do. And the Romans did sexual immoral things, such right. as back and all and things of that nature. That's true. Hit the, such as Alpha and Swine and things of that nature. God, that, that was why Paul went to the Israelites there and told them, these are the laws you need to make sure you but pay Acts attention 15, to. I'm saying, Acts 15. You don't think that's a good question to ask? And again, in all seriousness, how is Acts 15 not a good question? If you're saying one thing you know about me is I don't fear God, which if... If I do in my heart, then you're lying about me. Number if one. If you truly fear number God, two, you though. will not tell somebody that you can. That I can. You can be a Christian and shave your beard because the true followers of Christ followed Christ in an right. example. His example is he had a beard. Did he not? Yeah, and that. I believe he did. Do you even know the passage that's evidence for it? Yes. What? Revelation one and fourteen. That's not the place. It says his face was shining like white. There. That doesn't no, say he has a beard. His head and his hair it were white. His head and his hair. Right. So that means he had That's, hair here and hair here. That has to do with the color. It doesn't have to do with what you have he on your face. He had hair there. No, but no, but the thing is, hair. we agree. It's, I'll, I'll help you out. It's Isaiah 50. It Just, says, I get, I, I offered... They, I offered they, my face in to pluck my beard. And they plucked his beard out. Sorry, I know that uh, as well. Bull cap, right? Yeah. Uh, this is... Our common ground is the scriptures, right? Yes. But the scriptures say we believe it. So us going back and forth is not going to do much. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 19... Verse 29. It says, A man may be known by his look, and one that have understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. A man's attire, excessive laughter, and gait show what he is. Okay, two so things. This, 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 this describes that you can a lot about a person by how they dress, how they look, right? Even in everyday life, you can do that. What did what did Yahweh tell Samuel when he judged David? What did, what he, did tell he him? When he misjudged him? He, so is no, the I'm just saying. Contradiction? I'm actually no. Well, I don't believe Sirach is biblical, but but I'm just saying. Let's okay. let's let's say you hold that it is. What did what did Yahweh tell Samuel? Uh, to not judge by his appearance. Right, yeah. and you're telling me you can judge by appearance. Yeah. Now, which one's right? No, I'm not telling you. It's what, the Bible. What, so, so did Yahweh specific, contradict look, himself then? No, no, listen, in no, that no, specific the, the incident, did, do we judge Messiah. any man according to the flesh, according to Brother Paul? Messiah, yes or no? no? We're talking about the Messiah. The Messiah. Uh, the Bible, says, he says we hold no man according, any longer judge, according to the flesh. Righteous judgment. Yes. So right, judge, Agree right, with that, but not by appearance. What is righteous? But the Messiah said. Uh, what the, whatever the uh, Pharisees tell you to do, observe and do. Observe and do. Right. Observe and do. But they were Not hypocrites. Not their hypocrisy, though. They right. were hi hypocrites. Right. right. Just like that. <coughs> oh, you got you can keep God's laws, but I can break this law. That's a hypocrite. I, so that's the, the that's question. That's a hypocrite. See, is that a hypocrite? Yeah, yeah, If if having a beard is part of God's law, you must keep. Then yes. Okay. Then. But if it's not, then you're mistaken so in you your assumption. Me, 